Good morning. Welcome to Pathways Good Podcast. Good morning. Episode 108 morning. is what's We're trying to for. act normal. <laughs> it's a little hard this morning. Steve's still... It's our your, Christmas podcast. Am I lighting <laughs> No, up? they don't no. light up. The batteries are dead. Uh, They're from the dollar store. You're just broke so, already. <laughs> Marcy took the best one while you were gone. No, I took I was the, the one, one that was up. on my desk. The, the leftover stuff. I took the one. Marcy you weren't has, late. Marcy has a but, an elf hat on that's got Christmas lights that are actually lighting up. It's a Santa up. hat. It's a they Santa are. Hat. Yep. You're but still mine don't light up. up. Nope. I've got the same hat. And then Steve's yep. got... Steve's a the elf today. With an elf hat and elf ears on it. <laughs> I did not buy this shirt, by the way. This all was thrust upon me before the podcast. <laughs> like 10 minutes the ago. The shirt is only, what, two sizes too small? Hey, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> but it is you a just, man's shirt. You just wear what you're given. Yeah, at least it belongs to a man, Aaron. Hey. At least <laughs> again, I showed up and I called on the way here and said, I need an ugly sweater. Grab the box. The A team picked this one out for you. Thank you to the A team. Good work. All over it. <laughs> it looks like definitely a woman's sweater. Um, but you wear, you wear it well. Thank you. <laughs> so, does it, does it look manly? Yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> So, Marcy, are, tell us about sure. your sweater. You know, Aaron, I think you should tell us about my sweater. <laughs> if you can look closely at the face of Santa Claus, <laughs> very, very it looks closely. somewhat familiar. Somewhat. Somewhat. I don't even remember wearing that outfit. Apparently, I would dress I, up at Santa. I remember no, when you actually you had in. that beard, but it was red. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently, you should tell the whole story. My, my beard that was, only, must have been your undercover days. Well, no, I only started turning white in my beard uh, <laughs> after I got hired on staff here at the church. Well, that'll do it. Go to figure. You. That'll it's, do it. To you. It's not the congregation. Gives you some grays. It's the harassment I take every Wednesday <laughs> on the podcast. from Marcy on the podcast. <laughs> so, for the record, one year, Aaron. You wore a sweater to a Christmas party with a bunch of people's pictures on it, right? Yeah. And then they decided they were going to make a sweater with you. Yeah. So someone out there has this sweater with your picture photoshopped in as Santa. <laughs> I, and you just happened to mention it yesterday. And I was like, oh, that'd be great for the podcast. And so, of course, since it doesn't fit Steve, I had to wear it. Well, you so. are... You're the outcast because the rest of us are wearing ugly sweaters. And I must say, you have a beautiful sweater. I think that's debatable. (laughs) So I did go pick it up this morning. I think mine's quite pretty. They photoshopped you in. I think mine's beautiful. It's very masculine. Yes. Yes. I like how the belt is above your belt. I know. I said the belt is slightly below my chest. (laughs) What do they call that? They have a term for that, right? For women, don't. Don't they wear like belts up here? Is there- it's called a belt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, not going to go there. <laughs> so, are we supposed to actually talk about the message? <laughs> I don't know. It's at very some hard. Point? I every time I look in the mirror, I just laugh. I just can't. At I just laugh. Or at <laughs> um, the sweater. Well, what do you think, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. Um, I do think that we should mention Jen today. So yeah, Jen I, actually is really. You need to come out, out and be yeah. on camera because you also have an amazing sweater and. To describe it, she's got the same. It's elf hard to half, take you seriously today as well, lead, also. But she's got these glasses that are just pretty amazing, festive, very red and glittery, and. Nope, nice, she's nice just sweater. refusing. What's on your sweater? Even even though Calvin came in today to produce, also Thug thanks, Santa. Calvin. Oh wow, dinosaur! <laughs> oh. Her Santa oh, turns into a pretty, Santa. That's kind of cool. Dinosaur, dinosaur sweater. Santa. That changes from a dinosaur to Santa. It's pretty cool. Huh. It's not Reagan's. It's yours. No, it's yours. She lets Reagan borrow it <laughs> secretly. For the record, I was going to get a Christmas sweater um, ordered, but it uh, would have taken too long to get here. Yeah, it would have so. been after Christmas. Maybe so a Christmas next sweater time, by New Year's. try to make this decision a little bit sooner <laughs> so we can get stuff here. Yeah, the, the other funny part is that this was all Aaron's idea. So <laughs> we tracked down the sweater. Well, I, I had a really good idea of how to make a sweater, and it didn't go well. So. It didn't go well. No. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Yes, of course they do. I don't know where to stand. Stand right here. Right in front of Aaron. Nobody wants to see me anyway. The internet has spoken. That's right. Yay. It's a dinosaur or it's Santa. So, there you go. Yay. Woo! That's for Juana. Because Juana said she wanted to see. Of course. Everybody wants to see. 
All right. Well, let's talk about the message. What do you think? Okay. We can talk about the message. Sounds good. We'll I try uh, to do it with a straight face. We'll try. Yeah, I had to, I had duty. I didn't take any notes. You don't have any so notes this I'm week. On you. I took some wow. notes on my phone. I had a couple of duties this weekend. You had a few things going on. Yes. Plus the kids were singing. Oh, so, boy. Which was awesome. It as was always. amazing. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. We should talk about this, the star of the show. Not Jesus. At the nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah, he, the he nine was o'clock. a little more reserved to love. The, the little Gideon Groves <laughs> yeah, decided he, he wanted to have a solo, which was but he but found he out that trouble. the microphones if worked. only he could have grabbed the mic. <laughs> right, I was afraid he tried. that he was going to face plant off of the stage, so he, I was a little worried about that. For that mic, and he he projected his voice right into it. He did. Everybody heard it. He did. Who's He's, he take after? Um. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> He gets his loudness from me, maybe. Calvin's pointing at you. <laughs> his stage presence. His stage presence. His beautiful singing voice. He did great. Comes from me. He did. He did great. You know what? Before he the kids the went out there, we yeah. said that our our hope for for singing in church on Sunday was to praise God and to bless the people. Yeah. So that's what we were there for: to praise God and bless the people. And I think, and I think that, that they all point. did that, including yep. Gideon. Yeah. It the was, people were blessed. It was great. It was great. Apparently, when you guys were practicing over here, um, he yeah, was, Al he was, came over so that they could run through with Al. Al. So Al was playing his guitar, and Gideon was over there like air guitaring with Al. <laughs> it was it was awesome. It was pretty uh, cute. So we love our kids. Yep, it was good. And we love the parents, and it just is a great, yep. just a great thing. I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't smile. How can you not? I mean, they're so cute. I mean, what kind of a person wouldn't do that? But (laughs) it's just, it's fun to watch. I actually like to kind of turn around and watch the people because, right. and by the way, Trisha, get a kick out of them. Trisha was doing a phenomenal job. Trisha did great. Yeah, she, Shout out to Trisha. Yeah, Trisha. She leads the kids in worship and every single week. The hand motions, yep. you know, and, and then she can't. Trying to figure out who it is that kid. she hears above everybody else. Not realizing. Uh, it's fantastic. It's, it's great. It was well good. done to all the leaders and <laughs> everybody. And it led into the, the message a little bit, you know, talking about legacy. Yep. I yeah, Generations I mean, of faithfulness. That's a that's a big part of the message, and definitely a, a theme that's been going throughout this season. So think about that. I always I, I I told this. I don't think I I don't remember where I told, but I remember you know when the way first began. Jake Jake was in the back row because mm-hmm. he was you know the fifth graders. They're kind of. They participate, but right. they're not real thrilled about being there. You know, <laughs> as you get older, you get cooler, and you you know, and, and those things. But uh, I just remember Jake doing that, and it was great. It's a great time. But that, but now, now here he is. You know, graduating from college and yep. life goes yeah. on. Time someday, flies. Someday you'll be sitting there, <laughs> and little Gideon won't be in there anymore, and. He won't be so little. Remember when the Milburn yep. boys would be doing it? And yep, last year. All of our kids. <laughs> yeah. This is the first year that we haven't had anybody in it at all. So, They're yeah. too old now. Nick's in seventh does grade this year. Sad? It does. Hmm. It's kind of like, oh, yeah, Where'd it does. Where'd baby boys go? That's right. But they're not. They're not babies. They're that's they're very bigger. true. You know, you gotta, you they're know, you've only got a they're small taller window. and bigger than that's, me, but I don't like to admit is, that. You know, you've got this small window, <laughs> right? At, at every season of life, and and you know, for a lot of people, this this little window passes them by, mm-hmm. and they don't they don't do it. Yep. You know, yeah. and it's kind of too bad, but mm-hmm. it is what it is. It's the times we live in. Mm-hmm. So every year that goes by is a year that you never get back. Right. So it was fun. It was great. It was wonderful. And I was blessed by it. And it was a good time. So I'm glad That's I good. can be in those moments and see that. Mm-hmm. But it's good. Yeah. Well, kick us off, Marcy, for, about the message. What, what yeah. kind of notes do you have there? Uh, I've got all kinds of notes. So, yeah, but you kind of mentioned that idea, too, just that idea of generations of faithfulness and that idea of legacy. And I think that's one of the big ideas, too, that kind of pulls through this message. And kind of one of the places where you landed on at the beginning was even just that idea of names. And hmm. do do we name our kids or does God name our kids? And I know every Celebration Sunday, too, we talk about this. Yeah. and and looking up the meaning of, well, for Celebration Sunday, then you look up the meaning of the K-12 
kids' names that are getting baptized or yeah. and um, or blessed, and um, you know, come up with a scripture verse for. Have that you ever looked and, up your names? Yeah, I did today. I have good in, in preparation for the podcast. There you go. What, what is your? What is Mar- Marcy? Yep. Ann Milburn, Marcy Maria, Maria Milburn, Maria. Yep, Just, Maria. I had no idea. But. Yep, nope, no idea. M M M. Yep. <laughs> Ave <laughs> Maria. It's, it's kind of funny because I always said I don't want to marry anybody who has last name M, of M because then my initials would be M M M, and so that's exactly, that's exactly what happened. What you did. That's right. That's exactly. So what is what Marcy Maria? So Marcy is a derivative of Marcus, which it has something to do with like the god of Mars. So like the Greek or Roman god of Mars. Heretic. Yeah. And, Pagan. But, that's right. And Mary. Mary is, uh, or Maria is a derivative of Mary that means beloved, which we talked about on Sunday. So that well, that's we all it. know who the, the real god, god of Mars of is. Mars, and <laughs> that's the god. There's only god, one god. The one true god. The true god. Yes. Yep. So Aaron uh, has an ancient Egyptian meaning of warrior lion. There you go. I thought that was pretty cool. And then Earl. Uh, means brave man, warrior, leader, or chief. Mm. And then groves means uh, grove of trees. <laughs> there you go. But you're a brave warrior chief in the <laughs> grove of trees. Yes. That's right. A small wooded area of trees. <laughs> but, well, you know, Aaron, good. of course, was the first priest. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. So yep. there you go. Yep. I mean, uh, brother of Moses. Mm-hmm. So that's, when I think of Aaron, that's what I think of. <clears throat> that's, yeah. So I guess... The meaning of his name, so it's kind of interesting, isn't it? It is, yeah. You think about mm-hmm. those things, but yep, yeah, it's absolutely. Good. So, if you, if someone wanted to look up the <clears throat> etymology of their name, did is there a certain resource that you use, or I think it's called Behind the Name? Yep. Okay. Behind the Name is it dot com? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Behind if you Google b- Behind the Name or What's Behind the Name, well, yeah. Google it before you put it in the comments, but but it's the same. You use the same website for like yeah, getting you just ready type for celebration the name in Sunday, and then you hit so then go, you, and then it looks yeah. it up. So yep, and it's now, really like it goes back and it gives the you right. know is this name is from this name, and you, it's you a little just more click difficult. on it and you can link back. It's a little bit more difficult to, to look up scripture because so you know what I do is is I look for keywords in their names, and then I'll I'll do a search. Uh, for that word in scripture. And then, you know, depending on the word, I'll just pray and try to find a, you know, a verse will leap up out, out at me. That, mm-hmm. That's how I arrive at a verse for people, but it's, it's kind of through their, ep- the etymology of their names. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now some people, more and more people are getting names that don't appear in there because they're like original names. Mm-hmm. So that gets kind of difficult, Yeah, but yep. you just, you just do the best you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so from the message, the message this week too, you talked about how Zachariah's name meant God remembers Elizabeth's was oath. John was God's grace. Mary was beloved and Jesus was God saves. And yeah. so just that idea too, when you put that all together at the beginning of Luke, all of those people, how it's this big idea that God remembers his oath and gives grace and through his love, he gives salvation. Yeah. And <clears throat> I just thought that was neat as you look at their names and the meanings of their names and how God used all of those people kind of (laughs) almost like each holds a piece of it, but then coming together, you see this fuller picture of what God is doing. Well, there's kind of this, there's this piece of it. Well, what more can God do? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, just all of these, these pointers, these indicators that this is what he's doing Mm -hmm. and, and it all just lines up. Yeah. And, you know, for for those that don't believe, they they just wouldn't believe no matter what he did because of all the things that he did do. Right. So, yep. Um, it makes it challenging, but but you know, the, those who don't believe today may believe tomorrow. So you just keep inviting people into that relationship with the Lord. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Anything else, Aaron? <laughs> Aaron's like, I didn't take notes this I week. I didn't take notes. <laughs> Um, oh look a coffee thanks trisha what (laughs) sorry trisha what just happened (laughs) sorry maybe i should have said that you walked in with two coffees one for you and one for marcy from my wife (laughs) 
<laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do? I think I have a few drops left <laughs> in mind. Steve and I sit here. <laughs> with, do you know what I'm going to do with this coffee, Aaron? I'm going to drink it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ah, wow. It's all so funny. Yum. <laughs> So nice Again, that they get each other coffee. I even we know in. why my beard has turned gray. Rose gold, I should say. It's I'll just delicious. have a mint. <laughs> now I'll need yeah. a mint. <laughs> minty, minty coffee. Uh. You, you did talk uh, in the message on Sunday. You did touch a little bit on, on the fear of God <clears throat> and talk about fear and how, yep. you know, we in context today can have <clears> – <throat> just a wrong view of what fear is compared to its biblical meaning of being in awe and wonder of God and who he is. And yep. to fear the Lord is to just be in awe of him and not necessarily afraid of him or afraid to go to him or scared of him. Well, I don't think that anything with God is, is motivated properly by what, by terror. Mm-hmm. So if we define fears like terror, I don't think terror is what, Terror may drive us to God temporarily, but it has no power to keep us in a relationship with Mm -hmm. God. Only love can drive this relationship. I mean, you know, how long, how long do relationships last with anybody that you're afraid of, Mm -hmm. you know? And so we get this weird, uh, we get this weird uh, English translation of fear of the Lord when it's actually be in awe yeah. of, of the Lord. And that's what, so, so you are almost in awe of the fact that he loves you mm-hmm. and that you have this relationship with the creator of the universe. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just like this awe and wonder. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was, I was struck by this notion of when uh, Zechariah, when he, when he kind of prophesied and he said that this, so one of the words I was really clung to is this word visited yeah, mm-hmm. and what that means and, and visit. So if you kind of break it down, uh, vision is a part of visit and it, and it's this big part of, you know, when, when somebody comes over for a visit uh you there's this scene mm-hmm. that takes place and it's a two way mm. scene and there there is there is elements of us and this goes all the way back to the fall where we don't like the idea of god seeing us mm-hmm. because of our sin mm. and you know and it, and so therefore we are afraid to see him because we know that if we can see him, then he can see us. And so we kind of live in this place. It's almost like we like to dwell on the fringes, mm-hmm. so to speak, where maybe we, maybe we're just far enough away in our mind that we can catch a glimpse, but not close enough that we can be seen. And so that drives our, our whole reaction to God. Um, when in reality, somewhere in a salvational uh, stance before God, you're almost kind of like, come on in. Mm-hmm. You know, look it all over. You, you, I trust you. You know, um, I know it. I know there's some ugliness here, uh, but uh, I also believe that you love me and that you, you you're good and and that you have the best in mind for me. And, and and that really is. So when you talk about surrender, that's really what it is. And I use that analogy of, you know, we became a culture somewhere along the line where we used to like the pop in visit and used yeah. to be part of our culture, mm-hmm. but now we we don't like that at all. Mm-hmm. And you know. Um, you know, if, if somebody, if you suddenly had a knock on your door, your first instinct is well, who's here and why are they here? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and then you, and then, you know, somebody being in law enforcement, want? I remember one time, one time, uh, somebody that we know who was a police officer was knocking on our door and our first response is why is why is there a police officer at our door? Mm-hmm. And it was just totally a friendly thing. It was no big deal. <laughs> but you're just like, what? Why is this here? What's going on? And and um, it just it's a reaction sometimes. And we can have that same reaction to God. Mm-hmm. It's like you know what, God, I'm, I, I want you to be here, but don't come in because mm-hmm. there's a mess, and I don't want you to see. What's mm-hmm. going on? And there's a shame piece of that too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of people have struggles with the relationship because of um, maybe something they've done in their past mm-hmm. that they're shameful for. And they're, they're almost ashamed, I don't know, to be in the presence of God. And, and there's a thought process of like, well, he, he, he doesn't want to be near me. He doesn't want right. to 
you know, he's not going to like this about my past. And I mean, when we repent and ask for forgiveness, like we're washed clean, right? Mm-hmm. And Christ wants, we have that uninhabited, the ability to have that un inhibited relationship yeah Mm -hmm. but it's us who gets in the way Mm -hmm. well and i think that's why you can't look at people in the bible as these perfect bible people Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you have to look at them as real people and regular people and they're just in amazing circumstances Mm -hmm. and that that that's got to be a tone in which you look at it because you know People were so when it talks about people are righteous in God's eyes, what's that saying is is that God has deemed them righteous. It doesn't mean that they really are. Mm-hmm. And that that's right. the part that you know, so you go all the way back when Noah found favor in the eyes of God. That that's grace. God just decided to give Noah and his family favor. Right. It wasn't like Noah <laughs> and his family were the only perfect people on earth. And and we just have to kind of un uh, unravel this misperception that we have that all the Bible people, the reason why God used them is because they were perfect. Mm-hmm. It's just not true. Mm-hmm. They were just willing. Right. Right. And, and that's, that's the difference. They, they were willing to do what God called them to do. And, and, and even, even some of them reluctantly like Zachariah, but in the end they believed mm-hmm. and that's what made them extraordinary. Mm-hmm. So that's a big part of it too, especially as you go into the whole Christmas everything. It's like, you know, sometimes you just have to get to a point where you don't have all the answers, but you just believe. Yep. You trust. Mm-hmm. Have and faith. That's, that, that means God can use you then mm-hmm. in a powerful way. So Thank good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. <clears throat> all right. So how do we transition into the next part? I don't know, Aaron. Well, how do you know we do what? that? <clears throat> I, d- I did make a sweater. <laughs> It, it's not. It's not what I wanted it to be. Uh-huh. But you know, I, I know, I know your thoughts and feelings about certain things. Uh-huh. And I thought, <laughs> how can I make something that's ugly to Marcy? <laughs> and so <clears throat> I'm going to go do a wardrobe change. Right, well, Marcy and I are just supposed yeah. to fill in <laughs> while you're done. Just supposed yeah, to done. hang out. <laughs> you guys did well, some episodes. Aaron so let's go over does. the things that Marcy thinks are ugly. <laughs> So I'm guessing. Well, I think we covered pet peeves a couple I'm weeks ago, right? It might cover I think some it's stickers. Have balloons, and it probably covers some balloons. However, do you know what? And this, what would make it worse is that if it wasn't just balloons, but if remember that game I talked about that Alicia has? That's like that stick that goes in, and you don't know when they're gonna pop. Oh. That would make it like that would be bad. So. I can remember, and I don't know if I told this story when we talked about pet peeves, but one of the things that we would do in summer camp is we would cover balloons with shaving cream. And then yeah, you'd, that's me. you'd have to shave, shave the balloon, shave the balloons, <laughs> and you never really, <laughs> never really knew. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> What's with the back picture? <laughs> there's, a, there's a long story with that. There Trisha, is a long Trisha, story with that. Trisha, I'm not telling that story. However, I would just like to mention that all of the pictures that you are wearing right now are Snapchat filters. Thank you, Nathan Milburn. <laughs> uh, did, my kids helped me with this. I'm sure that they see, did. The Look, the balloons have stickers. See, that is like... That has popping potential right there. The, one of the, one of the balloons has a band aid on it. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> right here, this one. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh god, Look, that's band-aids. that's on Steve's side. <laughs> band aids. So easy, oh, I wore my sweater. <laughs> I made it. I can't believe I just bought a hot <laughs> glue like, gun last week. <laughs> How did I ever live life? How did you ever a live life without a hot glue gun? Oh my gosh, those things are amazing. <laughs> I hot glued these balloons so directly funny. to the sweater. <laughs> And then uh, look at all these stickers on here. How did you so, manage to hot glue those Aaron. without them popping? Just very, the ends. I'm very delicate. Very careful. I'm very crafty. You got, very your, crafty. You got your dunce cap back on again, by yeah, the way. I don't, I don't know how to fix it. He's like, I don't even care. <laughs> it's part of the outfit. Do you see the? Do you see all these stickers I do. on there? Yep. You know what that's from? So this was a sweater that I had made that... You made that like yeah. this. You made that sweater. Was that, was that the uh, sweater? <laughs> Way for to go, that? man! That is amazing. Did you knit I, that? I did. I even sewed on the button. <laughs> wow! But I had a uh, an ugly sweater party. Was to that go the to sweater that Jeff's led to house. this sweater? Yeah. So 
I, I put out a bunch Jeffs. of picture of people named Jeff. Yeah, it was and the I Jeffs. said it was my sweater of Jeffs. Yep. And I, it was my ugly sweater. To which then Jeff made this sweater yeah. of you. To the, which I texted uh, him and was like, hey, can I borrow that? The sweater of amazement. <laughs> So anyway, this is gonna be fun uh, to do this. Oh my goodness! To do this minute, <laughs> have fun winning. trying to do the minute <laughs> with a game. Uh, I'm totally gonna, gonna win it's now. It's gonna be distracting to Marcy. She's just gonna be waiting for the balloon to pop. At any pop. So we're supposed to try to do some minute to win it games. Oh, wait, so what? So Jen is our producer. So what? What are we doing first? Are we doing stockings? Are we doing? Let's let's do stockings last. Okay. okay. What, are, what are stockings? So, what are we so we're going to start with you the minute to win it game. You have a stocking with a gift in it. You can't look at yours, though, because yours is sticking out. So what minute to win it game are we going to start with? Let's start with the cup game. Let's start with the cup, start with the cup okay, game. Okay, so you got like to explain this to me. I don't know how to play this game. And move my actual cups Marcy, out of the way. I feel like I have a natural. All right. Rest. So the cup game. We have all kinds of blue cups with one red cup. And the red cup is at the top. So you have to take the cups one by one. You can only take one at a time so you don't Hold cheat. On. And you put it, you restack ah. them, like and then you have to go through the games. whole line until the red cup is back at the top. So what? The first one done wins? Yeah. Okay. One of these is going to pop. I'm telling you. <laughs> Do you know what's I'm gonna telling. Do you know what's gonna happen if one of those balloons pops? You're gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. Yes. That's what's Be going careful, to happen. Careful, Marcy. That's it might throw off your timing. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Still won't throw off my timing. All right. All right. Let me All move right. my microphone out of the way. Okay. Well, that's a good idea. All right. I'm trying to decide if it's easier like this way. I think it's probably easier this way. Okay. I think it's easier that way. When I say go, go. Yeah, Mark, I, I do. Said go. Oh, she said go. Three at a time are coming out. Oh, I think I got two that time. Oh, somebody dropped one! <laughs> I'm almost done! Oh, I lost! Well, I, I had a couple that went to That was a bummer. I, I had a couple that went two at a time. I think I had a couple times I had I two at a time. I think I have more cups than you do. <laughs> Have we counted? Sure. That's a Count likely cups, story. <laughs> Count those cups. Uh, 25. Oh, I got 28. <laughs> right. Clearly. I saw Steve come in third because I had to I'm going to come in third. <laughs> 31 cups. <laughs> You're number one in our party. <laughs> All right. The next game is you have to unwrap, go ahead and unwrap your, your fruit by the foot. Okay, so we're unwrapping our fruit by the foot. I can't breathe through my nose. This is going to be hard. It's going to be amazing. I haven't had fruit by the foot since I was like, I so love fruit by the, the foot. Thing, now obviously. what do we do? Yeah, you're going to unwrap, it? unroll it off the paper. And off the paper? Yeah, because you're gonna you don't eat the paper. And then you're gonna hang it don't out of your mouth. Paper. And then you have <laughs> Thank to you. get it out stand of your next mouth my... as fast as possible. Oh my, my goodness. Microphone. I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Can you still see us if we stand up? I did it. <laughs> 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 okay, so we have to get it off the paper. Yep, get it off the paper. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh. And you have to unroll it Good all grief. the way. Okay, I mean, put it in your mouth. How, it how many feet is Just by a little this? bit, like a little bit. Jesus is watching. <laughs> Jesus is watching. Cheers. <laughs> now the double up portion, don't you? What? You're already cheating. You're using the double up. And they're stuck. To, it's stuck together. It's I can't it unstick it. I don't know what you want from me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you have some challenges there, buddy. Ah, the balloons. <laughs> So what do we, okay. can't use your hands? You can't use your hands, y'all don't use your mouth. Honey, Marcus, I go. Oh, and you gotta help me watch. <laughs> Look, go, Steve, go! I just want him to win so bad. <laughs> you can... <laughs> go, Steve. Oh, oh, it's close. It's close. Oh! oh. Steve is the winner! You have to keep going! <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm gonna die on fruit by the foot. 
by the foot. Oh my god. You guys should be ashamed. Steve had a handicap that still beats you. I can't breathe through my nose. I can't breathe through his nose. I'm still trying to fit. <laughs> the hard part is, is when your mouth is full. Um, so I know. You feel like you're going to gag on it. Ugh. There's nowhere oh, for it all to go. You lost a balloon. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> You're gonna step on Two it. down. What's wrong with the band-aids? Oh. <laughs> right. Everybody can just relax. Oh, I can't handle it. He's gonna step on that balloon. <laughs> I know who you are. I won't pop. pop. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> it was so mean. Uh. Completely uncalled for. Oh, that... that. That is terrible. <coughs> that fruit, oh. I got some gushers too. Um, I feel like I'm gonna. So what are we doing here? This. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the cookie. So take two. Do we have any? I gotta uh, take two of them. Do we have any uh, oh. coffee? That. Oh wait, no, I didn't get coffee. <laughs> Uh, water, maybe something we can wash this. Be nice sorry, to have your coffee sorry, wash this Sorry, down. Trisha, I should have waited to say thank you. Oh, we need a few of these. <clears throat> well, I'm going to need a few. I, here, I don't want to so use one that like, falls. Our forehead? Yeah. Okay, so you have to put the gingerbread off. man on your forehead, and then you have to like get it in your mouth. <laughs> That right? One's stuck into your <laughs> stuck into your hat. No, it's not moving. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't get a water. <laughs> you have a full thing of tea, a full thing of coffee that you haven't touched. I don't have a water. <laughs> I explain to everybody what you're doing. Okay, so we have a gingerbread person on our forehead and we have to get the gingerbread person into our mouth without using your hands. So that's you're what you have to do. Go. Go. I think that's gonna be hard. <laughs> there it goes. One. Oh, I dropped. Oh, we got it. All right, I'm trying for second place. Clearly, <laughs> Aaron just dropped his. I clearly saw that out of the corner of my eye. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Marcy, you gotta put your head back. <laughs> but I have. Marcy's like, like this. Marcy's like this. <laughs> You gotta leave your head back, Marcy. Then I, I have to get it down, too. You're so. gonna, I'm never going to make your mouth if you... <laughs> <laughs> leave your head back. <laughs> oh. Seems like, just trust me, I just won. <laughs> <laughs> you might do another one. Steve's like, I'm going to do two I don't have before you can this. get this. I'm on cookie number five. Oh, my oh goodness. My gosh, they're really good. I, I can't do this. Oh, no, I haven't got oh, in my mouth. Jen's yet. sitting over there eating that. I have a little gingerbread man on my shoulder. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> it just here oh is like I feel like you have some surface area to work with. This is a surface area. You gotta have face control. Marcy. You have to use you have to use gravity as your friend, not your enemy. Uh, have you gotten one yet? Yeah. Oh, you no, I, I don't know. That's questionable. Uh, it's you questionable. It I your think shoulder. you're lying. <laughs> I didn't use my hands. Okay. I lose. Oh. Right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are all winners. Yay! What did you get? What do you get if you win two out of three? I think that makes you the winner. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to eat the gingerbread, man. Let's see. <laughs> Steve you, upped you his game after winner. the first one. Did you notice that? Winner. You get five total points. You got last place on the first one, so that'd be three points. But then you got one and one, goals. so that's five. I got. You know what? I got. Every, I got first, second, and third. So wow, I got six points. Uh huh. You got last, <laughs> last, and last. <laughs> <laughs> this was your idea. This was your idea. I got second place on the second challenge for the record. So, yeah, yeah definitely.
All right, do you want to you want to do stockings and then announcements? Uh, Second yeah. place is first Jen loser. Jen has stockings, so Jen has to come open her stocking first. Oh, okay. This is I don't know what's in here. I think she stocked her stocking. I did. Um, or another. <laughs> Jen little... knows what's in there. <laughs> yeah, I got a little. Etch-a-sketch. Yay! Yay! Well, that's I was neat. a very good girl this year. Perfect. Next up. Marcy, you're not ready. I'm next. <laughs> this is my stocking. Yep. It is a spiral art. <laughs> Wow! Oh, that's right. Cool. You can make <laughs> Thanks, you can make Santa. little make little uh, circles. I know. Yeah. You need a hot glue gun for that. I got one you can borrow. Right, I'm sure you do. Hot glue gun. You want to give Aaron his? Sure. Here, you can't look though. It's like sticking out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's sticking out. He can't see Ooh, it. Ooh, a pool table game. Oh, that's show it! Fun. Show everybody that's watching. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's it's uh it's Trisha sized. <laughs> <laughs> Got wee little hands. And now we'll grab Steve's. It's Steve's. Thank you, Santa. There you go. Yeah. Thank you, Santa Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, you have one oh. light that's blinking. <laughs> Glow football. Hmm. Look oh. at that. Uh, from the dollar store, you can see Obviously, there's some things you have. It's, it's, it's glowing already. <laughs> How am I supposed to make it glow? Shake it. Shake, Shake it. it. I, I think it's glowing already, isn't it? <laughs> it's too, too light in here to really see so. and tell. You Got some instructions really on here. Let's see what the instructions are. <laughs> Yeah, I can't read these without my glasses. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. Thanks, Santa. Thanks, Santa. Oh, it's great. Love my little spiral art. <laughs> Scooting over. <laughs> Would you wear a sweater like this with the sticky stuff on it? No. It says bounce or throw ball to break core <laughs> and activate. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now that's cool. Wow. Yeah. Give it a that toss. was amazing. Toss over there. Throw it to Jen. Look at that. Oh, Jen missed. Yes. <laughs> right, right, right through her hands. There we go. Straight back there from Calvin. There it is. That's cool. That is cool. Wonder how long it lasts. We should go in the worship center after that. Oh, the lights out. I caught it. <laughs> Yeah, that's Her. right. Turn the <laughs> Get your right off the blue. Wrestler. <laughs> Marcy, announcements. 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 Don't uh, throw it to Marcy. She's got 5,000 mugs of liquid on her desk. Hey, a little deliciousness right there. Uh, announcements. Uh, so we have Christmas Eve service. Actually, we have youth group tonight, too. What? Oh, talking to my microphone. Sorry. I'm just not loud enough. Normal. Um, so it's Wednesday, and we didn't have youth group last week because of the weather. So we have youth group tonight. So Christmas we have party, right? Christmas parties yep. for 7th and 8th graders with the middle school. High schoolers are having their Christmas party as well. It's going to be a fun time. Youth worship team is leading in youth worship. Is Maybe it hard to take me seriously? <laughs> no, probably not. not They're unwrapping <laughs> gifts and doing other things. So, so we have youth tonight, and then it's not tomorrow. It's Friday. <laughs> 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 Friday. I'm sorry, what, what's going Friday, on Friday? Friday is the Christmas Friday's Eve services. Kind of day, Friday it? is a big day. Yes. Christmas Eve services at three and five. Nursery at both. Soup, supper from four to seven that night as well. And so all kinds of things going on with that. And things coming up. We have membership class next week, Wednesday, uh, December 29 from six to eight. You just lost a balloon. <laughs> I don't think I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 only. I mean, it's. Uh, hey, I, you can take I'm the full afraid. Fuse. You were gonna think no, of that. You know, if you look at this, it kind of looks like a balloon. It's not. <laughs> it's not. 
we can, we can no, use the that, that is the problem right there. We, <laughs> oh my goodness. So distracting. Okay, so we have membership oh, class next Don't week. <laughs> well, it's, it's away from the pool, pool cues, though, so <laughs> it's totally fine there. Uh, membership class next Wednesday from 6 to 8, and you can sign up online if you'd like more information about the way, uh, becoming a member, or you can just come and check it out, and that's good, <laughs> too. <laughs> Scratch. <laughs> you totally missed. Uh, Celebration Sunday. Celebration Sunday is coming up on Sunday, January 9. And if you would like to be baptized or find out more information about getting your child baptized or doing a profession of faith, we would love to talk to you. So you can sign up for that on the website as well. And come in and meet with Steve and Aaron. <laughs> We will be dressed accordingly. <laughs> uh, I would just, you know, and I just want to encourage people to, to sign up for that. I mean, it's definitely you know, it's, it's serious. It's serious and it's wonderful. We're celebrating, so definitely. <clears throat> And then in January, also, financial peace is starting up right after the holiday season. So uh, January 10, Zach and Alicia Bean are going to be starting financial peace. So that's another great thing to think about, too, okay. as, you're, um, as you're approaching Christmas. Maybe that is something yeah. that you'd like for yeah, Christmas, and then you can jump into the class in January. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think that's all that I have. <laughs> it's all I can get all in. You're capable of doing in present company. Uh huh. That's pretty much true. So that was actually harder to give announcements for than it was on Sunday with all the kids on stage. <laughs> Just got two big kids in the room. Oh, that's right. It's good. It's good. So there are other things. Men's ministry coming up with Hidden Acres retreat and quilting group, worship team needing people, discover hope meals, all kinds of things. So, all kinds of ways to plug in. You can check out the website for more information on all of those. <sighs> Who knew to get me a football? Who would nobody have guessed? Like huh? N nobody knows you like it. I know. And, you know, that is like one of my secrets is I, I like football. We're <laughs> shocked. I didn't know. Huh? We're shocked. Yeah. Aaron, two of the lights on your hat are lining up right now. Let's see. Uh, That's let's pretty see. amazing. No, oh, oh, good idea. Keep me no, up. I think it's not about this. Keep me up. Hey, <laughs> oh! Mercy, what are you doing? What are you he doing? sent it to Calvin. <laughs> All right, are we at the end of our podcast? That's the end of the podcast. All right, well, so I'll sign us off then, or maybe he wants to. Is this a nativity on the balloon? Did Remember you put a nativity on the balloon? <laughs> Oh no! It's just a little. My, my kids sticker. decorated okay. the balloons. I said it's for perfect. Marcy. She hates stickers. Please put them on the balloon. <laughs> they were like, "Yay, let's do it!" <laughs> stickers better on the balloon than my house. That's true yeah. because if they're on the wall, they're hard to get off. Well, we hope. Sorry, we hope he's trying to. Close everybody listening, out the podcast is ready for Christmas. We do. Yes. We hope yes. that you know you're fully aware that Jesus is the reason for the season and and uh, you're enjoying things. I look forward to. To gathering together, family, friends, and getting together Friday night. Church just, family. Oh, yes, I love, that's right. I love Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Yeah. Come for Christmas Eve. It's, it's going to be, be a great amazing. time, and we hope you hope everybody's <laughs> feeling okay, and that um, we'll all be able to see you uh, this coming weekend, whether it's whether it's Friday night or Sunday, or, or both. both, or both. That's right. That's right. We'd love that's to see right. you both times. But uh, we're going to sign off now, and everybody have a Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas. We'll see you soon. Merry Christmas.